Well, on Sunday, Tim Zhu fights for the world title. On that card, you'll see this man, Matteo Tapia, who's in a big fight, the biggest fight of your career. But, yeah. gee, it's been a, a pretty stressful couple of weeks for you, yeah. um, being based over here yeah. in Florida, having to evacuate. Tell us about it. Yeah, I mean, we were we almost turned into like I almost turned into a weatherman at one point. I was uh, they let you know when a storm's coming, or something brewing, and they let us know like a week and a half before. So I just kept watching watching the reports, and as it got really close, they said uh, you got to evacuate, like it could hit you. And we uh, ended up going to Miami or close to Miami for two days. Then we decided to come back. Uh, we were so close not coming back, we're just going to come straight to the venue in Orlando. Because we knew it wouldn't have hit. Once it made landfall, um, it just weakened straight away. So it's lucky that happened and we, the fight's still here. But So we came back and, yeah, our power was on, everything was fine, and which was good. Things are obviously fine here in Orlando, but uh, what's the mood like in Tampa after really, well, largely dodging a bullet? Uh, it's pretty, everyone was sort of frantic, like there was no petrol, um, there was no power, like in anywhere, so you couldn't buy groceries, all the groceries are gone, um, so it was kind of like, oh, okay, what do we do, like, how are we going to eat, um, but yeah, we found a store that was open and it was good and bought our groceries there and yeah, they didn't lose power, but yeah, it was pretty frantic, like the lines were long like an hour long to get petrol and we're like, we'll just get it in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are here now um, yeah. in the fight venue, just having arrived today. A, yeah. a huge fight for you, two world-ranked fighters, and, and this is a real springboard fight for you into yeah. something really, really big. How do you feel now that you've got through all that and you are here and you've got this big fight coming up? I'm ready. I've been training for four months, so knowing this fight could happen and I've done a lot of rounds and I know once this is just that, that, that fight that's going to open a lot of doors for me, and I'm excited. Tough fight. Um, our audience will know Andre Saavedra from the fight against Isaac Hardman, yep. who he eventually stopped. Yep. Um, what do you read into that performance? What did you see from him and the risks that he may provide to you? Uh, I think he's, his style's good. Uh, it's a, he's got good technique. He's got good head movement. He's got good counter shots. Um, but it's nothing I've seen before, and I know what style he brings to the table. I know sort of where he trains too. Uh, I've actually been in his gym when I was 15 uh, in Tijuana, Mexico. So I know the style that they bring and yeah, it's something I have, I've seen before. And what does a victory do for you? Obviously the rankings come and yeah. opportunities, but what would you do, do you think, if you get through this fight with Saavedra? Well, I'd like to fight back home this year again. Uh, let's see what how Tim's fight goes. Hopefully he wins. and. Uh, there's a big show there at the end of the year. Well, that might be the plan, but um, tell us uh, about Tim Zhu. You probably know him in the ring better than anyone. Have you yeah. done more rounds, do you think, with Tim Zhu than, than anyone else? I think in Australia, you could say that. That's uh, Yeah, you could definitely say that. <laughs> and what have you got out of that experience? Um, I guess you've helped each other, but what have you personally got out of spending so much time sparring with Tim Zhu through his journey as he's developed into the star that we see before us now? Oh, man, there's countless of things I've learnt from Tim. Uh, I probably haven't told him, but yeah, I've learnt a lot from him. And just to see where he's at now and what he's doing, uh, I can do that too. You know. And what do you think about that main fight? Um, have you seen much of Bakram Murtazaliyev? Uh, he's a, a tricky fighter, an undefeated fighter around your division, but um, slid under a lot of people's radar. Has he been under yours? No, I actually haven't, yeah, I haven't <laughs> heard of him at all. And then. I He's a world champion. I actually didn't know he was. Yeah, <laughs> yes. So I'm glad Tim gets his fight. I'm glad Tim. I haven't seen too much of him either, like footage wise. So I'm just hoping Tim stops him. Really? It'll be, it'll be good for Australia. And it'll be a great Sunday for Australia as well. Um, not only Tim's fight, but, but people at home getting to watch you on main event. You'll yeah. open the broadcast. Yeah. Um, that must be hugely exciting to be on this sort of a platform. Yeah, I mean, it, it is exciting. I've done something like this before when I fought in Dubai. We were the first uh, first top rank ESPN flight. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. A lot of people will be watching. And in the US as well, where it'll be live. So um, this is a major opportunity. The biggest, the biggest fight of your career? I would say so. I'd say the biggest fight. And what happens in your fight? A statement, hopefully. Well, good luck, Mateo. Thanks, Ben.
That is Matteo Tapia. So you'll see him open the broadcast this Sunday on Main Event.